Hi Aquarius, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hi, welcome. My name is Michelle and this is your weekly reading. I just want to remind you guys that my readings have no date. Sorry about that. They are divinely guided. Everything has free will and not everything is going to resonate with everybody. Also remember that the roles give you reverse in between you and your person. And with that said, let's take a look at what the universe has for you. Before anything, we're going to be starting with your past. This is just going to be a quick look to see what happened. I know that I get comments and people go like, I'm not here for my past, but we, I'm not here just for one person, it's for many. So please be patient. This is a general reading, not a personal. So remember that this is not going to resonate with all of you. And this is not a reading for one person only. With that said, again, let's take a look. So for your past with three cards. Thank you, spirit. We have, let's see. We got the King of Wands, we had the Chariot, this is Cancer, Leo, and Sagittarius Energy. Okay, we have the Four of Pentacles, Virgo Taurus, Ten of Pentacles, and the Ace of Wands, bottom uh, Five of Cups. I know I wanted three, but they gave me more, so we'll work with what we gave, what they gave. So we got the King of Wands and the Chariot right here. So when you met this person, it seems to be that you thought you you met the you met the one. Seems to be that this person did give you some sort of like idea or some sort of like signals that they were interested in you. And it seems to be that you guys, for some of you, started talking and everything seemed to be going fine. But somehow your person was a player, right? But they didn't tell you that, or you didn't get that red flag out of like like that. This person was stuck in their old behaviors and their old ways and this person was messing with other people as well and somehow you found out it could have been like you were told or you actually found out yourself that this person was not being exclusive or that this person was hiding something from you but the ace of wands this person could have been hiding multiple people as well as another relationship again you could have been dealing with a person who was single who was a player or a person that was in a relationship but they were actually um like talking to you and being in a relationship somebody that was unavailable at the bottom right here when you found out that situation makes you feel very heartbroken it makes you feel very very unsatisfied and of course you did walk away and cut ties with this person but somehow it seems in, still in your energies because you feel betrayed and you felt lied to of course right so that is what I got from your past you see how quick it was so now we're going to see the your person's messages. So let's see what is this person not telling you? What is this person not legit telling you? Thank you, spirit. We have, I get upset because I'm not with you. Then we got, you deserve better. Let's see what else we got. Oh my God. My fingers are so dry. Then we got, I can't stop thinking about you. Then I got, Tell me you miss me too. And you made me mad when you stopped trying. And then I don't know what you did to me. And that frustrates me. And at the bottom here, we got you make me act like a teenager. And then we got you are my soulmate, me alma gemera, and video chat. So you're all things I want to do with you. So two things. This person's going to be, for some of you, your person's going to reach out through either or social media or video chat. You know, it could be Zoom or whatever it is that you guys could have. If you don't own social media, then this part is not, it's not for you. Obviously, right? But if you do have social media or any way in that you can actually video chat with this person, that is when they want, they will actually reach out. Others of you, this person wants to record themselves with you by having sex. So just keep that in mind as well. This person has that kink or that desire. Of course, it's not for all of you, but for some of you, you know who this person is, if that part makes sense. So with that said let's take a look what's going on between you and this person okay what can you give me about Aquarius and this person please and thank you so we have the queen of one Sagittarius Leo energy we got the nine of pentacles in the reverse like I said there go Taurus energy thank you spirit then we have the hero font right here I will say Gemini energy as well for some reason 
the nine of wands in that reverse and the two of cups one more please just one more thank you spirit and we got leo energy with the strength card at the bottom here we got the seven of swords and the emperor and the ace of pentacles so yeah they're going to be reaching out to you most definitely they're going to actually ask you to like date or so but you got to be careful because even though that they look like the emperor aries energy like i said before like somebody like has everything together somebody that seems legit somebody that could give you what you want they are a player so they could actually come into your life and take something from you or hurt you you know not that they're gonna steal from you but again it could be stealing your joy it could be stealing your energies and your peace because your person it is a player but at the same time they would like to settle down but at the same time they would like to keep their own ways you know what i'm saying like well like for example being in a relationship but at the same time being the kind of man or kind of woman that actually flirts and be with other people at the same time so that is something that you really don't want you're gonna have communication with this person this person is gonna reach out to you this person is gonna actually like i said before ask you to go out to see to hang out to see each other to have sex perhaps but you have to be careful that they're gonna promise you the world that okay yeah i can offer you this i want to date you but at the same time they're gonna be doing things behind your back and you have to be very careful with that with the queen of wands and the nine of pentacles look at that look how different you guys are look at this this represents you aquarius like somebody that knows what they want is somebody that sticks with whatever they want so you're not gonna be playing games with nobody it's pretty much like you actually cut ties with whoever was a possible person that you could have dated so you're not gonna be flirting with nobody whenever you find me in love or you fall in love you actually commit to whoever but this person will not do the same for you with the hero font and a nine of wands in reverse like i said before this represents you you are faithful you actually could be like if you guys date you're gonna be faithful this could be actually representation of vows like getting married but this person is going to hurt you behind your back so you're gonna be played you're gonna be hurt without you even realizing it this person it's not faithful this person is not faithful you are faithful they're not with the two of cups and the strength card right here it's gonna be a tough situation for you because you really want this person you have chemistry there's like sexual desire but there's also the chemistry of like maybe this is my soulmate maybe i can change them but let me tell you something people don't change just because we make them people will change if they want to and your person seems to be like not wanting to change because they will tell you what you want to hear but at the same time they won't do the work to become that person that they said they are so you gotta be careful you have to like um stand up for yourself and you cannot let this person walk all over you you have to set your boundaries and at the minute this person steps over those boundaries you need to cut the ties because this person does not deserve you most definitely like i said before with the five for ones i see a lot of arguing a lot of like back and forth a lot of like tell me the truth a lot of like what are you hiding you know like something that is not a very pleasant like you have the person that you want but at the same time this person is not faithful this person is not the person that you thought they were and i see a lot of arguments look at this and it's something that is not gonna stop i see like as soon as you start dating you're gonna find out like things on their phone they're actually gonna be talking to other people so there's a lot of back and forth a lot of unhappiness if you meant if you want me to tell you a different way that's what i meant like it's gonna be a lot of unhappiness at least on your energies and i don't see a lot of future between you two because if you like to be treated like that then fine but if you are looking for something more meaningful something more like you know like an actual relationship that is respecting over you and all of that this person is not the one that will give you that even though like i said it feels like a soulmate connection this person needs a lot to work on so you can wait for them if you want but for me this is what i'm telling me my intuition is telling me that look at that seven of pentacles is not worth investing it's not worth working for because this person is a soulmate but it's most definitely for for like lessons you know like i see your person cheating and like still playing with your mind and manipulating you in a way you know so how do, does this person feel towards a phrase with one or two cards please and thank you let's see <clears throat> So we got the Queen of Swords and then the Justice was in reverse. This is uh, Libra Energy. King of Swords in reverse and Ten of Wands and the Empress in reverse. So like I said before, look at this. They really, really don't want to take, not, not what they want to take. They don't mean what they say. They actually, their actions, not 
their actions don't match what they say. So they say they love you and that they will never want to leave you and that you're the one for them. But at the same time, they talk to other people and they're not very faithful. So again, this is somebody that just says the right things, but they don't actually act on it. At, again, the 10 of ones right here, this person um, is very immature and this person is a very, they could have an addiction with sex or very like, commitment issues or something around those lines but this person will be cheating on you like i said before and hiding it and this is the person that you could actually cut them on the act and they're gonna deny 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 because that's who they are with the empress right here this person will not give you your place or respect you in a way to perform like i said before this person is not worth taking a shot on this person is just like close the door at their face and walk away because they will never give you your place they will never respect you the way that you deserve to be respected and look at this the queen of swords and the justice right here they actually know that you will put all the effort they actually know what you expect they know what you want out of this relationship but they won't give it to you look at this this person will not give you the balance or the justice or the balance or the fair play that you will like on a relationship this person is not going to participate on that it is not a give and take relationship it's more about like give 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 and whoever this person is will take 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 so it's going to be like feeding off your energies feeding off your kindness so it is not a healthy or balanced relationship and look at this the six of uh pentacles right here telling you that this person will be hanging out with other people flirting perhaps cheating on you sexually as well like being sexually active with other people people while being with you and look at this there's more options for you out there that you can actually take and be more happy with but you're still stuck on that person even though that you have better options so again this person is not good for you with three cards please and thank you spirit give me what is the outcome in between aquarius and this person Thank you, Spirit. So we got the Two of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, and the Queen of Cups in reverse. So yes, this is a karmatic situation. Um, you guys are legit still connected and bonded. So maybe the, all of this, even though that it's nothing that you would like to happen, it's needed for you to pretty much set free out of this connection because you guys are very, very bonded, very, very tied together. So tied down together. So again, there's no future with you guys. I'm so sorry to tell you this, but there's no uh, actual future. And when I'm talking about this, it's like not a healthy future, like not a healthy relationship such as, like I said, a faithful, happy relationship. Like you can have a relationship with them, but it's not going to be a happy one. You're going to be arguing all the time. You're going to be very unhappy. So if that's the kind of relationship you're seeking, then this person will be the one for you. But again, it's going to be always like a pattern of like arguing and not respecting one another. And it's not going to be something that you want to be in. It's going to be a toxic relationship 100%. And look at this. The Queen of Cups right here. This relationship, relationship is not going to fulfill your needs or your, or your emotional needs. This person is not going to treat you the way you deserve. This person will not take care of your heart or you the way you deserve. So like I said before, they're not going to appreciate your cup or the things that you do for them they don't do it they will never do it so sadly it's for you to say goodbye and i know with a page of sword it's hard to for you to make decisions when it comes to this person because this is somebody that you have been wanting for a long time and whenever the time comes it's going to be a little scary you're going to be like what do i do now but at the end of the day i'm telling you that you're going to be just fine and that the answers is in your hands of course always has been but if you want to be on um, you want to be happy and you want to move forward and see what's out there and be completely happy and content this is not the person that you should be investing your time in because they are not worth it this person is here for a minute but it's just to te teach you a lesson to teach you what you really deserve so again i'm so sorry to tell you this but there's no actual future with this person at least a future that you can actually be happy not gonna happen with them there's somebody out there somebody better but right now you need to set free out of this connection so with that said can you give me a little uh three cards for aquarius career please and thank you aquarius career career <laughs> please and thank you the emperor aries energy in reverse we got the um ace of pentacles and reverse page of cups pisces energy king of pentacles and reverse virgo taurus energy at the bottom we got the hangman and the high priestess again pisces energy right here so right now money seems to be if it's not now money will be a little bit short um 
I don't know if uh, some of you might lose their job or others of you might get your hours cut for some reason. So you got to be very, very careful in how you spend your money. Again, if you're thinking also about getting a new home or a new car for others of you, be wise in how much money you actually earn and how much money you will be putting in that car or house because like I said before, if you don't have enough money to pay your stuff, again, they will be taken away. So if you don't want your stuff to be taken away and you don't want to feel overwhelmed when it comes to your career or when it, I mean, when it comes to your stuff, I, <coughs> sorry, and finances, please make sure that what you're getting, it's not overly over your, over your budget, okay? With the page of uh, cups right here and the king of pentacles right here, again, going back to the career, um, like I said, money's going to be a little bit stuck. If you're wanting uh, to get the, if you had an interview, you want to get that job, I'm sorry to say you're not going to get it. That specific job or that specific stuff that you really want is not going to happen right now. But something else is going to show up. Something totally different. Something that is seen minor and seem like you really did not care much as much as this right here is going to pop. That's going to be your opportunity to get out of where you are. We could be out of your comfort zone as well. And this is going to be a company that is not the biggest company, but it's a company that actually will open the doors for you to grow in your career. And it will actually help you to develop the skills that perhaps you didn't know you had or to get the stability that you're seeking as well. Um, I'm also seeing that this company or this job opportunity or this could be also if you're actually thinking about uh, a business idea, whatever business idea that you have right now, disregard that because it seems to be that that idea is not going to pay off. It's going to be something else that somebody else is going to propose to you or tell you about and you're going to be like oh i never thought about it like that so that's what i'm trying to explain again whatever that idea or that little business that you're going to start with is going to get you also to be the king of pentacles somebody that's stable somebody that has money and somebody who has um like a status do you know what i'm saying and a lot of people are going to know you but please keep in mind that you have to be humble because if you become cocky right away the universe will take away the blessings because you have to be humble like people have to stay humble because we are all equal so do not let money change who you really are okay with the high priestess in reverse right here is telling you that you don't whenever this opportunity or this uh job idea shows up at your door you're not going to want to listen to it because you're very stuck in whatever it is that you wanted but it's telling you that you need to stop work like moving forward without like overthinking and pretty much thinking about consequences you are ignoring something or the universe feels that you're ignoring something please listen to your intuition because the angels and the uh <clears throat> sorry ancestors wants to talk to you they've been giving you or they will be giving you some dreams they're going to be giving you some numbers for you to understand that that is some meaning for you to find your path because you're not listening about something like they are very afraid that you spend your money very crazy in that or you invest on in something that is not going to pay off so they want to stop you not because they don't want you to become somebody it's just because they don't want you to waste your money on something that is not worth it and when the high and the high priestess and when the hangman right here whatever this happened you have to overthink it because it seems to be like a risky investment and you know this but you don't you still want to do it because you feel it's going to pay off but at the end of the day this risky move that i'm talking about that i've been talking since the beginning of this part it's too risky and it's not going to pay off so please listen to your intuition do not overlook it do not ignore it because your intuition is trying to save you money that's all they want to save you money they don't want you to waste your money so that's what i see for aquarius in the career and or finances here so now we're gonna go for aquarius who are single or they are ready for new love they're done with the past so we're gonna go with aquarius single what can you give me for my aquarius single so we got the eight of wands in reverse the king of swords leo sagittarius energy <clears throat> ten of swords scorpio energy Thank you, Spirit. We got the Page of Wands in reverse, Leo energy. The World Taurus Virgo. And last one, we got the Ten of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio at the bottom here. The Sun, this Leo energy as well. And the Two of Wands right here. So right now, um, again, you cut somebody off. You're done with the past, like I said before, or you cut somebody off. And that did hurt you a lot because you had a lot of feelings for that person. And this could have been recently or this could have been a little bit ago. But there's something about a relationship that was very shocking, very stressful, and very important for your energies. Important for your energy. So 
this is actually out of your energies now so you are free from whatever the situation was and now even though that you're free you're not really <clears throat> You don't think that somebody better or something better will show up at your doorstep because whatever the situation was, it actually was enough for you to doubt, for you to doubt in love and for you to feel like, you know what, I'm good. I really don't want to deal with love. You know what I'm saying? But with the world here, da -da -da -da, this could be a new year's as well. There's something new coming your way. It's going to be a big change, a big transition in your life. This could also mean relocating new jobs and all of that. But besides the point, you're going to be some, you're going to meet somebody new soon. It's going to be a lot, like I said before, a lot of changes, a lot of transitions. It's going to take you out of your comfort zone. That's comfort zone. That's for sure. And with the Ten of Pentacles, I mean Ten of Cups right here, is going to this path or this situation or this person that's coming in your way uh, is going to lead to a happy ending. And again, this not necessarily means about somebody. This could also be a friendship that will lead you to your happiness self, but again, or your happiest self. But I see the Ten of Cups as having a happy family, having a stability, and having your dreams come true. Um, and this, I want to say, is going to be around New Year, so 2022 for you. Um, this going to be, this person could be a Leo or a Sagittarius right here. This person is not here right now. So if you say that, oh, I know this person is not, they're not here. Like I said before, this is going to happen within a year. So it could be around New Year's, okay? So this person is far away. This person is going to come in because of work. This person is brown skinned, no matter gender here, whatever gender, uh, it's uh, brown skinned, uh, brown hair, and they seem to be a little bit short, not too, not too tall, and they're actually pretty like normal size, you know what I'm saying? This person could be an Italian or so, they come from an island or so, or that's where they were living, to be honest. But again, I, I heard Hawaii for some of you and Australia for others of you. Not necessarily, but that's what I heard for some of you. Again, not all of you. If I said not all of you, look it up. I, you guys know what I mean when I said not all of you. So again, going back to this, this is a person that's actually given um, or bring to you to your life as a reward. This is uh, bringing to your life by your ancestors, by your guides, by the angels, because it's something that you really, really deserve. You deserve happiness. You deserve being joyful. You deserve peace. And this person will bring it to you. And or it's going to match the peace that you're already going to be finding with your success or with you know your path that you're going through but again this person is coming in around february <clears throat> it's not gonna be now and it's gonna be something related to work and if you say i don't think so well i don't think so well i'm the one who reads the card and that's what the card says and like i said before cards don't lie and if you don't work then it could be like again social media or if you walk and you find somebody that could be the way but like i said before if you don't work and nothing of what I'm saying makes sense is clearly not for you. Like I said before, this is not a one person's reading is multiple. So, okay. So take what it does and leave out what it doesn't. So again, you're going to meet somebody around a year from now and it's going to be somebody that's going to match your energies and it's going to heal also the insecurities that other people have brought into your life. Again, just good things coming your way within a year. And before I go, let me give you a card from your angels here. okay we got three cards we got peace and it says peace comes from remembering that only love is real crystal clear intentions be clear about what you desire and focus upon it with unwavering faith and then last one is spiritual understanding i am bringing you esoteric information and symbols and helping you understand spiritual truths like i said before it's going to be through dreams about your finances and everything that you need guidance on so i know that i usually give um uh <clears throat> prayer but right now spirit told me that just to give you a card from the moonology oracle sorry that i've been like having issues with my throat but i've been talking for a long time so it's quite dry so one card, please, and thank you. Okay, we got two cards for you. So the first card says, a time, okay, <clears throat> a time for healing, balsamic moon. And last one says, confidence is your key to success, new moon and Leo. So those are the two cards that I got for you instead of your prayer. So thank you so much for sticking around. Please like and subscribe, and I'll be back next week with more readings. Bye.